Hello everybody, it's Kate at the Library of Whispers. Today I'm going to do a soft-spoken video and we're going to take a look at these um, Victorian uh, replicas of um, different things like posters and little brochures and things like that. And they come in a little pack like this, and uh, this one was already open. So let's take this out and see what we have. Various things. So I think this pack is to do with advertising and um, we'll have a look at these things one by one I think and read through some of them so let's pop them here like this let's start with this one to be an advert for Eno's Fruit Salt and it says without such a simple precaution the jeopardy of life is immensely increased prepared only at Eno's Fruit Salt Works London SE by JC Eno's Patent. Now I don't really know what Eno's fruit salt was. <laughs> um, Hans answers on a postcard. Something to do with fruit. And on the back is this is an advert for dental products. So, carbolic dentrifices. F.C. Calvert & Co., the original makers of carbolic dentrifices. Carbolic tooth powder. Carbolic toothpaste. Free from grit, removes tartar and whitens the teeth. And you could also have carbolic tooth soap. And apparently it was a pleasure to brush the teeth with it. It comes in a, a metal box. And if that wasn't enough for you, you could also have dentophenylene. A fragrant liquid dentrifice, a delicious mouthwash. Let's see what this says. Looks actually quite terrifying. These Dentrifices are prepared with the purest medicinal carbolic or phenol or phenol, phenol much used by dentists combined with the best bases pleasantly perfumed forming very agreeable efficacious antiseptic preparations for beautifying and preserving the teeth strengthening the gums and are useful as a prevention a preventive of infection by inhalation calvert's dentris dentrifices have acquired a most extensive celebrity their continuous increasing sale affords unquestionable proof of the universal estimation in which they are held but you all want to go out and buy some of this. Unequalled for, for prever preserving the teeth. I think I need to put mine back in. Preventing decay and purifying the breath. Leave a pleasant taste and refreshing coolness in the mouth. Perfectly safe for regular use. 
you would hope you would hope so. <laughs> Avoid spurious imitations. See that each box or label bears your our name and trademark. The largest sale of any dentrifices. Fascinating. Okay. And this one is some kind of little booklet. Okay. So I hope you can see this on the front it says um it must be an advertisement. The doctor says I am suffering from a complicated disease called cholera, typhoid, diphtheria, diarrhea, caused by drinking impure water. Oh. Oh, I see. So, this is this whole booklet then is advertising Judson's Perfect Purity Filters uh, Galvano Electric Filtering Medium so this was obviously some kind of water filtration system for your house it says render water perfectly pure the purifying action of this medium increases with the impurity of the water reverse is the case with all other mediums. Illustrated pamphlet and catalogue post free. Daniel Judson and Son, Southwark, London. So this is the little sort of cartoon story. Here is the pollinate. Here is obviously the gentleman of the house. The pollinate says Mistress says you must dine alone tonight, sir, as she cannot leave the children. The uh, Peter Familias, this guy, the father, says, let's put this down. I am beginning to feel dreadfully ill myself. It can't be port again, for I have taken nothing but water. Mm, he says, my children dying of typhoid fever, my wife ill and miserable, and I, well, I think I must have a touch of cholera. Hell, <laughs> who has a touch of cholera? And then, the next picture says, a friendly chemist has advised me to consult Judson as to the quality of the water we drink at home. Then Judson, who I guess is this healthy looking guy here, says, My dear sir, would you be surprised to hear that the water you have all been drinking contains organic matter, living and dead, in sufficient quantities to kill the very strongest man, you must buy a perfect purity filter immediately. And then the Peter Familias, the father, father of the family, with the help, he says, with the help of one of Judson's perfect purity filters, I am thankful to say we are now all well again. Hooray! Next picture. This water is so deliciously pure and palatable that I have decided to give up all other beverages. Wow. Well, it must be good. And the final picture. Just off to the opera. A luxury I can now afford thanks to Judson's perfect purity filter. <laughs> and here is the perfect purity filter. Judson's Hygiene Disinfectant Antiseptic Deodorizer 
postcard for sunlight soap and the blurb on the back says sunlight soap poster a typical promotional poster which emphasizes the naturalness of the product the artwork was by well-known illustrator Lawson Wood for many years, the light cardboard container in which sunlight soap was sold contained a long screed eulogising its ben beneficent properties with certain words in bold type, which when taken in sequence read, Why does a woman look old sooner than a man? Oof. <laughs> the answer was, of course, through slaving over wash tub suds inferior to those from sunlight. Oh, now I know where I've been going wrong. Um, this is a um, poster for London's tramways to the West End. Embankment for Charing Cross and Strand cars from all parts Victoria services 8, 20, 28, 54, 55 and 78 and nothing on the back and this is ok, this is obviously a small brochure for the fashions of the day this is a pictorial review fashion book um, on these dresses this is a basque skirt a dress another dress, a children's dress spring 1922 WH Lefebvre Limited 35, 36 and 37 Broadway and 6 Imperial Parade, Wimbledon, printed in the USA. I don't know if the original was, but maybe, maybe the replica was. Very stylish fashions, the 1920s. The fashion book for spring is equivalent to a proclamation on what is authentic, smart and chic. For instance, pictorial review patterns of the sleeveless dress or jumper dress, which took the country by storm last spring, were out two months before they appeared in any other pattern. Let your infallible guide be... Oh, I see, sorry. Infallible Guide B, the fashion book for spring. Okay, so this is patterns. Okay. So these are patterns that you could buy so you could make these dresses yourself. Pictorial review patterns and guides for cutting and construction. And there's more here. You could even make a small man's outfit for a little boy incredible ways to dress children for every style shown in the fashion book for spring there is a perfect fitting pictorial re review pattern and cutting and construction guide with the aid of these guides a child can lay out a pictorial review pattern just as an expert would why not try one, just one and prove it This one is a vamping chart. Oh, okay, so this is this was a way of 
you could be with places on your piano um, and I think it would aid you in simply playing I guess, let's have a look it's so simple to entertain yourself and friends with the aid of the enclosed thousands now play who once thought it impossible surprisingly simple system with the aid of this new vamping chart placed upright over the keys like this you can at once vamp to thousands of songs, waltzes, ragtime, no knowledge of music required okay so this is it let me just scroll this across so you can see this is curious okay how does it work so a simple and easy method to vamp accompaniments to thousands of songs and pieces instructions place the card upright behind the black keys of the piano with space marked X key note to face the key you wish to vamp in first chord strike the five keys whether black or white that face exactly the x x x x x x <laughs> always two x's with the left hand first and three with the right hand after second chord do the same with the five y's third chord do likewise with the z z z z z after which comes the fourth chord which is just the same as the first one I am completely baffled <laughs> but then I don't play the piano so I don't know what this is really well Inland Revenue Licence for male servants, carriages and armorial bearings and docks This was um, some kind of Inland Revenue form and the applicant was John Edward Taylor 20 Kensington Palace Gardens, Kensington, London and he paid Twelve pounds, ten shillings, and sixpence. And he had five male servants, two carriages. Oh, two carriages with four or more wheels. And he had two carriages with four or more wheels to be drawn or being adapted or fitted to be drawn by one horse or, or mule only and he had one armorial bearing painted, marked or affixed on or to any carriage and he had one dog so this seems to be some kind of license Okay, let's have a look at the This is <laughs> Oh, this is fascinating Okay So This is all for all you ladies or gentlemen Depending on your And um, what you, you like this is an electric corset, beautifully designed for an elegant figure and good health. An electric corset. Wow. So if you were a delicate woman or you had a weak back, this was the thing for you. The very thing for ladies. Send for one of 
and this was supplied by the Medical Battery Company Limited, 52 Oxford Street, London. That's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so I was reading the back of that. Here is the front, and this is what it looks like. Oh, interesting that it's called Harnesses. Harnesses Electric Corset. Gosh. Also very good for hysteria, dyspepsia, rheumatic and organic affections, and ladies' ailments. Try it. Health Comfort Elegance. Only five and six. And the postage is free. <laughs> so this seems to be when electricity was considered the potential magical cure for everything. Including deafness cured by electricity, superfluous hairs, get rid of your hairy hairiness with electricity, painless dental operations, <laughs> rupture, <laughs> exclamation mark, Mr. Harness's washable self-adjusting xylonite trusses, you wish these were still in the <laughs> still on sale. Apparently, to wear one of these, these was exhilarating and marvelous, marvelous, marvelously cheap. No woman should be without one. Mm, well, this one woman is certainly going to be without one. And let's see what else do we have. So, this seems to be a letter from Frames, Tourist and Excursion Directors and Hotel Contractors, 92 Southampton Row. London. Dated 13th of July 1922. And this is going to S. Walters Esquire, The Hollies, Utree Avenue, Mansfield Road, Nottingham. Dear Sir, so this seems to be, um, this is like a travel agency. Dear Sir, we are now able to hand you an estimate for the tour you propose to take to Berlin via Ostend and Brussels. Chem Chemnitz and Stuttgart, we would suggest your stopping over besides Berlin, Chem Chemnitz and Stuttgart at Nuremberg, Frankfurt and Cologne. And if you like, on the outward journey, Brussels too. The cost of second class travel and 13 days hotel accommodation with bedroom, light and attendance, the three usual meals per day and compulsory gratuities would be £25.17 and 10. Should you desire us to carry out the tour for you, kindly fill up accompanying booking form and return it to us at your earliest convenience so that we may make the necessary arrangements. You no doubt being well aware that you are travelling in the height of the season. Yes, you are travelling in the height of the season. Awaiting your reply, yours faithfully, John Frame. is an advert for fashion shoes for 1925. You could probably still buy this style nowadays. Quite nice. So 
this style here says a suede shoe for everyday wear is possible with this useful design. A leather heel of moderate height assists in making it a shoe for comfort. The suede leather is a fashionable shade of beige. I've never heard beige be called, be, be called a fashionable shade, but there you go. Also in rich tan, willow calf, the new shade in brown, glacé kid and black glacé kid with patent cap. And this one says, Fashion shoes at quite moderate prices are found in wonderful selection at the benefit. This sandal bar with French heel is an example of 1925 mode. And the smart lines of perfect cut appeal at once. Made also in tan, willow, calf, brown, glacé kid and black glacé kid. Benefit, public benefit boot company. An exclusive charm without reaching the vagaries of the fantastic is the outstanding feature of the new models of benefit design. They are quite the latest productions and appeal to the most fastidious taste. These inexpensive and dainty shoes are now a speciality of your local benefit shoe store and your inspection of the new high-grade models is cordially invited. Mm. And this... that's pretty. This is an advert for Clark's Patent Fairy Lights. The Queen of Light used by Her Majesty the Queen. Pyramid and Fairy Lightworks London. This says... Notice, a Clark's Pyramid nightlight is placed in every bedroom in Gordon's hotels. It is hoped that visitors will use them instead of leaving the gas burning, which is not only dangerous, but unhealthy. Hmm. So as an alternative to candles. And this one. This is a, an advert for the Carbolic Smoke Ball. Will positively cure coughs, colds, catarrh, asthma, bronchitis, hoarseness, loss of voice, throat deafness. Throat deafness. Sore throat, influenza, hay fever, snoring, croup, whooping cough, neuralgia, and headache. Mm, the carbolic smoke ball is prescribed by Sir Moral Mackenzie, MD, and other eminent physicians, and has been supplied to HIM, the German Empress. And all these other people, including the Duke of Edinburgh, the Duke of Argyle, the Duke of Newcastle, the Duke of Westminster, the Duke of Westmoreland, Lord Tennyson. And lots of testimonials about the different um, different things that this uh, smoke ball can cure. She looks like it's well, it's even recommended for in the nursery. know what's in it. Okay. And this is 
an advert for Vitafer brings vital energy. Vitafer, the greatest of all tonic foods, is all British milk proteed enriched by the addition of nerve restoring phosphorus. Try it for brain fag, exhaustion, dyspepsia, loss of weight, etc. St. Paul's Cathedral. You will benefit from the first dose of Vitafer as surely as you feel the benefit of a bright sunny day. Vitafer is the essence of finest British milk, sterilised, concentrated and granulated, with which have been incorporated with the approval of the medical profession organic phosphorus and other natural tonic elements never before combined. A tin of Vitafer is a tin of food and force. It is so wonderfully rich in vitalising and a bodybuilding properties that you benefit from the first dose. Vitafer, the greatest of all tonic foods, is the most perfectly balanced pick-me-up food extant. The fact that its manufacturers have succeeded in overcoming the constipating effects observed by doctor doctors in concentrated foods makes it an invaluable health adjunct. As a source of protein, it is far superior to any meat preparation, one part being equal in its respect to four parts of meat. If you are on the sick list with neurasthenia, anemia, mental depression, physical exhaustion, brain fag, or dyspepsia. Or simply run down and overtired, Vitafer will make you well and keep you well. Note, the price places it within the reach of all. And this little tiny one is new motoring pleasures await you in the new beam 1928 model that, that is a car called a beam this one is an advert for witch hazel diamond extract of witch hazel This is an advert for sport down flannel trousers. Let's read about the eight points. <laughs> eight sport down points. Number one, this is the greatest innovation ever introduced into sports garments. Isn't that bizarre that that's actually considered a, sp a trouser to play sports in? Um, this trousers perfectly designed with low straight waist line when worn without a coat for tennis, the river, golf, cricket and seashore made convertible with extended pack to reach the braces comfortably when worn in town hence the name Sport Town <laughs> Number 2 The specially cut straight leg lines give height and smartness to the wearer Number 3 they are so constructed that they will never bag at the knees. Number four, the side straps are below the five belt loops, thereby ensuring a firm grip on the hips. Number five, the buttonholes are made on a slant, causing indirect strain. Six, flies are made so that they will never show the buttons even after cleaning. Number seven, the special patented device at the back is entirely concealed when worn without a coat. For wearing with braces, it is merely released from the loops and gives the same length at back as ordinary trousers. And number eight, belt loops tacked to prevent belt riding up above waistline. Get 
your sport tan flannel trousers here. Okay. So I think my time is up. And I hope you enjoyed taking a look at some of these facsimile replicas which mostly appear to be from the early 1920s and once again thank you for popping by and joining me to take a look at these and uh, this is Kate at the Library of Whispers I hope to see you very soon <laughs>